Welcome to Performance Upgrades. I'm your host, Dave Moss. The show is brought to you by SportBikeWrench.com. Performance parts and professional advice. Remember, when you buy from Sport Bike Wrench, you support our programming here at On The Throttle. Today with our Project R6, we're going to outfit it with Galfa brake lines, steel braided ones, to replace the stock rubber lines. Now I'm preparing for this because it's the messiest job you're ever going to do on a motorcycle. It's arguable, but I think it is. You need a lot of stuff. We have all our tools ready. We have a box of paper towels and we'll go through a lot and don't be shy about using those. And then obviously we've got our lines, our brake fluid and all the other odds and ends that we need to complete the job. So first order of business, get rid of the reservoir cap and then we'll move on. Now when you pull the next piece off, it, the plastic piece, the bladder will be attached to it. There's lots of brake fluid here, so gently tip it up. Let it drain for a second, give it a couple taps. Then put it back on the bench. Now we need to remove the reflector. It's an Allen bolt and our Motion Pro T handle will make quick work with that. You'll need to put your hand inside because there's a 10 millimeter nut on the back of this. Now this is where the job's going to get messy because we're going to start draining brake fluid. So, nice to have a pack of disposable latex gloves. These are from Motion Pro, which is great. They're glove boy box. You just use as many as you want. Nothing wrong with keeping your hands clean. Make sure you have some kind of drainage can to collect the brake fluid, so it's really important. Anything old plastic will work just fine because we're going to pull the line, let the line drip straight into here until it's completely drained. If you want, go ahead and use the brake and push it out. At this point we're sucking air, so we're done pushing fluid through this line. So what we're going to do is wrap this line up with just a little piece of paper towel so it doesn't drip brake fluid anywhere. That way the brake fluid will just soak up into the paper towel and it won't be an issue. Now we'll repeat the process on the other side. First thing we need to do now is clean everything up here. There's brake fluid sitting on the caliper on the outside. So take some brake clean, a rag, and just clean everything up meticulously. Then we'll go ahead and put a paper towel in the orifice where the bolt went to make sure no more leaks out. We'll do that on both sides. Next, we have to remove our splitter unit here, or banjo, where the lines go to either caliper. So we have an eight millimeter bolt here. Then we have a six mil Allen here that is going to be removed and that will allow us to take the lines off the bike completely. You'll reach a point where the banjo bolt is almost out of the master cylinder on the 09 R6, then it's going to hit the cable. So you can go ahead and loosen the pinch bolts on the master on the handlebar, rotate it up a little bit, and then you'll be able to extract the bolt. And voila, we have our OEM lines finished and off the bike. Now, make sure all the crush washers are away from every attachment point before you break out the Galfa kit. Now let's go ahead and break open our kit from Galfa and lay out everything that we have. So we have our bag of bolts and crush washers. We have our little cozy that goes over the brake master cylinder on the reservoir end and then because the lines need attachment they give us a clip and a zip tie that goes on the lower triple clamp and secures the line in place there. So now let's look, get all the components out. And Now as you can see Galf is great they label things so you cannot get it wrong. The right line is going to be the short line because that's the shortest reach and the left line will go to the other side. Now that it's fully assembled, we have our bolt, our crush washer, our master cylinder right line, crush washer, master cylinder left line, crush washer, and now this whole assembly will screw into the master cylinder. So now run through this and put the cables where they seem they belong. We route them 
both lines across the front because we have our Galfa clip here that will secure the lines in position here. Our right line is on the inside following its natural routing and the left line goes to the outside that follows its natural routing. Now we'll go ahead and fasten the lines to each caliper using the bolts provided by Galfa. We'll have our bolt, crush washer, another crush washer, and then attach it to the caliper. <clears throat> There's a natural piece here cast into the caliper, which will allow the line to stay in its resting position right there. Now we need to do a last visual inspection before we tighten everything up in that the lines aren't hitting anything, that the routing is correct, and also take care and take a look that when you go bar to bar, there's no problem there either. Now in this case with the 09R6, the spec required is 12 foot-pounds. So as you tighten up everything, make sure your torque wrench is calibrated correctly. Now we're ready to introduce brake fluid into the system. So for that, we'll use our Phoenix bleeder tool to pump fluid through our bleed nipple all the way through the caliper and up through the lines into the master cylinder. We'll do that on both sides to pump fluid from the bottom up until we get about halfway up the reservoir. And then at that point, we'll go back to bleeding traditionally by using the brake lever and opening the bleed nipple to make sure on the final end that we've got the brake pressure we're looking for. Now, as part of a traditional bleeding process, you will always start at the master cylinder with traditional bleeding procedure, which is to pump the line up, release the nipple, let the air come out, close it back quickly, then go ahead, release the lever, pump it up again. Now already within four goes, we've got great pressure on the lever. So now I know that I can bypass the banjo bolt because I think we're really good here, move straight to the bottom and go ahead, bleed the right caliper, then the left. Now that the lines are bled, we have great brake pressure. The last thing to do is top our reservoir off to the level specified in here. Remember, you always need an air gap, always. Put the cap on, put the retaining clip in, and at that point, we're job done. Now that the job's complete, it is really important that you spend quite a bit of time with brake clean and a cloth or a rag cleaning everywhere. Everything, look at every place that could have had fluid drip and make sure that everywhere is completely clean because brake fluid is very aggressive. You don't want it to ruin your paint, drip, have dripped on your wheels, tires, etc. So that's how to install your Galfa brake lines. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you can see clearly in each step what's involved. And as always, we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Performance Upgrades.